hi guys so welcome back to another youtube video it's the year 2020 and we promised you content and content we have here as you can already tell by the title i'm going to try on the magnetic magnetic lashes so i've seen this ad pop up on my instagram since last year and i think i've also seen a video of um it's my ray ray use magnetic lashes i think either last year or even last two years but last year everywhere on my instagram i keep seeing those magnetic lashes for those of you who don't know already i keep on saying in every video of mine i have sensitive eyes and when i say sensitive eyes i mean sensitive eyes just talking about lashes my eyes are already like tearing up just a thought that i'm gonna put something in my eyes lashes so i just thought i'd come and do this really quick video i can see i have minimal glam on i don't even have concealer i didn't conceal under my eyes because concealer also triggers my eyes to tear up so i don't want this makeup to be too this i'm sorry this tutorial to be too messy so i left my concealer out i just have foundation a bit of contouring highlighter just to look as if i'm alive and this lip lipstick of mine that's all i have but today i'm going to be using the adele magnetic liner and lash i saw this one at um boots and um it was quite pricey 17.99 yes i was like 17.99 for lashes but i've been wanting to get this lashes i've been wanting to see what the difference really is for people like us who have normal abnormal lashes my lashes are crazy i think i'm going to zoom in so you guys can see what i mean my lashes are crazy some are like this some are coiled to each other some are just it's just a hot mess so every time i try to wear lashes it would never ever get as close to the band as it should but with these magnetic lashes i'm thinking and i'm hoping that i would be able to get something good out of it as i said i'm using the adele professional magnetic um it says lash and what liner and lash so it has the gel liner here and the lashes and it says that if we should apply two coats of the magnetic gel liner along the upper line then place the magnetic um lashes on the magnet i can't pronounce on the magnetic gel liner while liner is still semi wet and gently press down to secure that word wet is already trimming things my eyes doesn't like anything wet so i just hope and pray that this will work out properly well 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 so let's get right into the video but before we do that before i start this tutorial let me just show you guys some of the tools that i will be using i'll be using this this is something that i got back in nigeria when i was craving to wear lashes i went all the way to i think i got it from um jumia shipped all the way from china this thing this thing, ting, 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 all the way from China. I was watching someone's YouTube video and um, she she had lashes like me. She, you know, used this tool and I could see the difference. It worked a lot. The only thing I'm not going to do in this video is I'm not going to hit, um, I'm not going to like straighten my lashes. Normally, I would have straightened the lashes just for me to be able to wear four lashes. But because they said it is magnetic, hopefully it would, you know, stick together to my lashes and look somewhat presentable and i'm also going to be using my um what do they call this thing again lash coiler but rather than coiling using it to coil my lashes i use it the other way around to kind of straighten my lashes that's what i'm going to be using in this video right into the tutorial and try to put on this lashes let's hope you better work you better work you better work so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to straighten my lashes so this is what it looks like when you open it you can see we have the gel the brush and the lashes and then we have the brush just a regular old regular brush and we have our lashes you guys should pray for me let's hope and pray that this actually works so i'm just dipping that into 
the liner and normally I do this I hold tend to hold my um, eyes down but recently using the felt tip that I've been using I just tend to do it um, without holding my eyes down but I'm gonna hold my eyes down for this one so that it comes out well we don't want any excuses So it says apply while still somewhat wet. I already put the liner and I can see that um, my lashes are kind of stuck around the liner. So I'm going to use this tool. Just to kind of press my lashes down a little bit and let's see if this actually works. Um, okay. <laughs> Let's try again. Let's try this again. Okay, let me try this. I don't even know how to do this thing, like seriously. It's actually working, but I think my lashes, because of my lashes are in the way, it's not going down. Because I can feel that it's sort of... it now okay I think I think something has done not too sure then it says press down i'm not sure if i'm pressing it down correctly but it says press down okay so this side has stuck but the ends don't want to stick let me see if i can add more of that gel i'm already tearing up so i'm not sure if that's what's stopping it but I'm already tearing up. So I have the lashes on sort of right. The front parts has stuck properly. It's all good. I'm only having issues with the um with this side because I think because I'm tearing up or for the fact that it's not making contact with the liner my lashes are there holding that back it's so it's 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 not it's not getting to the liner but let's move on to the next one and see how the next one will be okay so this one seems to have applied a lot better than this one and i think because i kind of added more to it although it's so funny this one the front is properly done and the back is not this one i can still feel the front hanging a little bit and i think i can see that here
so guys i am done as you can see i have flappy flaps on my eyes it, it feels so i wouldn't did i say weird like it just feels like it's it just feels excuse me it just feels like i can see something on my there's obviously something obviously this eyes the front didn't really stick as well as the way the front of this one stuck and i think it's because i brought it too close to my inner to my inner to my inner tear and tear dot i think that's the reason why it didn't stick as much this one just seems to be really snug to the front whereas the back is not as laid as this one but it looks good i must say like this is good for someone who doesn't wear lashes like if it were to be a normal regular lashes i would still be on one eye tearing up and crying you know what i'm going to do another video try on normal conventional lashes for you guys to see the difference this took me um let me see everything all together so far it's been 18 minutes of recording but i would say probably let's say 10 minutes of me actually trying to put this on and it's amazing i'm not crying no tears nothing and it is super light if only i could stop saying even like I, I, I could stop seeing that one it will feel so good i can still rock this out i can still wipe this out i think with this one it's practice make makes perfect so i need to keep practicing and yeah i think i'll be able to you know start batting my lap my lashes like oh, oh my god i really really like this <laughs> it feels so different like oh my god this is so good just zoom in so you guys can see the lashes so i don't know if you can see what i'm saying can you focus so this part here is a little bit out while here is also like hanging but so far so good yes so far so good i am loving this like i feel so cute like seriously ah, ah, ah. i'm gonna leave this on until my husband gets back from work and i'm gonna see his reaction like what did you put in your eyes <laughs> but yes i can say the adele magnetic liner and lash does work for me i just need a little bit more patience i need to apply a little bit more to um the liner to my eyes before i think it glued that's the reason why this one glued so quick even if it's not as it's still not as close to my lash line as i would want it to be this one seems to be close but this one doesn't seem to be i think it's the way i've applied it but I would honestly honestly give this product an eight and a half out of ten to be honest i'm really shocked and i'm sure there are other um products there are other um products out there or other brands out, out there who do magnetic lashes i would say i give this an eight out of ten because i really thought that once the uh, magnet feels the liner it's just going to like take it didn't take as much as i thought it would but it did take i love it one thing i love about it it is super light because i think because there's no glue i i don't know it, it's so light it doesn't feel like i have anything on my lashes aside from the fact that i can i've said this a thousand times that i can see this one otherwise it is good so guys this is the end of this video i just wanted to see if these magnetic lashes actually work i've been seeing it pop up on my instagram and i've just like been having sleepless nights over it now i can actually sleep properly now knowing fully well that i've tried out um the liner and it does work like honestly if you guys see me wear lashes in any of my videos it will be these lashes that i'll be wearing i'm not even joking i think all i need to do is just learn to um be patient with it put it on properly you guys should not forget to subscribe give a thumbs up if you like this video comment just tell me what you think about the lashes give me and you know tell me give me suggestions about what other videos you would like to see in the future and i'll see you guys in my next video god loves you so do i